Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here at our 5 p.m. Mass at St. Bridget, which is also being live streamed today. Uh, we ask you at this time to please silence your cell phones and just like to make you aware of events going on in the narthex after mass. Uh, we do have signups for the men's axe retreat, which will be held uh, later on this month. I think it's the end of February and going into March. And uh, we, I think we also have youth retreat signups. And then of course we are offering the gala tickets for sale for your convenience after each mass. Uh, remember that you can split those payments up into three parts if you wish, and you can also pay with a credit card. So thank you so much for supporting our parish, and uh, we will see you after Mass. Our processional is found in spirit and song at number 284. Number 284, come, now is the time to worship. Please stand and join in singing. presence of the Lord Jesus who sends us to proclaim his gospel to heal our sisters and brothers and to find peace in our nation as disciples and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Lord's presence let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have, I have failed to do. To do. Through my and fault, my through my fault, 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 through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 
Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed I say, when shall I arise? Then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness 
again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. Then what is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I become weak to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too might have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising early, before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. The prophets announced on that day, on that day, at that time, at that time you will see salvation. It was the the prophecies in the Old Testament. And Mark begins with his his proclamation, the time of fulfillment is here. I hear a lot of echo. Yeah? I hear my voice like, yeah. Sometimes it's hard for me to, to understand myself in time with echo. I have a dog's ear. Yeah? On that day, the time of fulfillment is here and Jesus comes. Healing, preaching, forgiving, exorcising demons, walking with people. And in today's chapter, we see one day with Jesus Christ. Those same apostles who were very close to Jesus, James, John, Peter, Andrew, are going to spend one day with Jesus Christ. Those same people who, who asked, where do you live? 
Where do you live? Where do you dwell? Now they are following Jesus. They are going to spend one day with Jesus Christ, including the Sabbath, says chapter 1, and the beginning of the next day. And by the way, Jesus doesn't rest on the Sabbath. He's working, active, healing, walking, exercising, preaching on the Sabbath. And then he continues to the following day, doing the same. There is no time for rest. The only time, the, the only break he has is when he goes to pray to be with his father. The time of fulfillment. One day with the Lord. Beautiful. This is not the end of the day, but it is not easy to follow Jesus Christ. Early in the morning, Father come to anoint somebody there at another parish. Father, come to celebrate this Mass because we, we don't have who does it. Father, come to celebrate me my wedding because who is going to do it? It is not easy, but it is wonderful, wonderful. Being with Jesus empowers you. Be careful after Mass. Be nice to me. Yeah? He empowers you. One day with Him, can you imagine the whole life with Jesus? And James and John and, and Peter and Andrew saw him doing those exorcisms and preaching and healing and being with the crowds. And, and the gospel says all the people was there at the sunset because it was a Sabbath. And at the end of the Sabbath, all the people came to him. Those people were keeping the Sabbath, not Jesus. At the end of the Sabbath, the Gospel says, all people came to him. And he was there for them. And his, his disciples tried to help him. Lord, it is late. You have been working all day long. He says, for this I came. Let's go to Galilee. One day with the Lord. The time of fulfillment. Kairos. The time of salvation, Kairos, used to say the Greeks. Kronos is just the measure of time. But with Jesus, it is Kairos, the time of fulfillment, one day with the Lord. And we can see in the first reading this man who, who experienced both kinds of times. When he was living in Cairo's time with God, Job was happy. Read the book of Job, the first reading. He was happy at the beginning. 
Everything was going great. He was happy. He felt God was with him. But when God is no longer there because God was testing him, maybe, what happens? I shall never see happiness again. Because I left Kairos, time of salvation, now I'm just living like any other human being, like all those deer jumping, running around here. Time is horrible. Life is horrible. I find no happiness. I shall never see happiness again. Kronos. Time without God. That happens to us too. Well, that happens to us too. We have to be spiritually alert to recognize when something is not okay, when, when we are not being happy. Why? Why is this happening? And maybe you will find I'm not forgiving. I'm not serving others. I'm not in peace with my husband, my wife, my children. I don't go to church to worship God together. Something is wrong. And then we, if we are spiritually alert, we react in faith and we come back to God. And we start again. We leave that just measure of moments and days, sometimes horrible time, and we come back to God. And we find again that He is here with us, for us, walking with us, preaching to us, healing us, forgiving us. Try to live in that time of fulfillment. Life is horrible when those demons are there around, around, around and we pay too much attention to them. And we play their game. And, be, and we empower them. It's horrible when we, we, we bring out the worst of a human being in front of us. Call it your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, your friend, your neighbor, your co-worker. Those demons have to disappear from our lives and our families. And Jesus comes with power to drive them out. But don't play with those demons. Don't play their game. Live in the time of salvation. The opportunities are there everywhere. I don't complain about those, those people who are not taken care of. No. That's good for me. I was called. 
But if everyone has what he has to do, what she has to do, the reality would be different. Our society, our church will be different. If everyone does what we are supposed to do. So we celebrate here our Lord. Look how beautiful looks the church now. I don't know who, who paid for those flowers. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. I, I cannot see you there but without my glasses, but I guess you are. Yes, yeah, you are. Yeah, later tell me who paid for them. That's beautiful. We have to celebrate that Jesus is with us. Look, St. Bridget. We are celebrating her, her feast. We did it two days ago. It was two days ago, right? St. Bridget's, the first day, yeah, the first. And now tomorrow, 10.30, we'll have a special celebration for her again. Jesus is with us, preaching through the saints, healing from his place. From there, he goes to heal many people around here. Not only here, around St. Bridget, in San Antonio. From there. The time of fulfillment is here. Because he is here. Please stand. I believe in, in one, one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, Consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through, Through him all, all things, things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. man. For our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance, in accordance with, the with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Come, let us worship God and bow low to him, the one who made us and who give, gives us the courage to pray. For the church that we work to heal relationships within our communities and among all people in need of healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the world that its global citizens seek to restore justice and bring healing to all nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the brokenhearted that they may know God's healing joy present in the listening ears of a friend. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those in the medical profession who bring physical, psychological, and emotional healing, that they experience God's loving presence in their work. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those that are victims of human traffic, may we unite in prayer to bring them to safety and pray for their well-being. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, that they rest eternally in God's kingdom, where all is healed and restored to unity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We bow our heads and remember the prayers in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Jesus, our healer, when we are laid low by pain, suffering, or doubt, grasp us by the hand and raise us up. Strengthen us to serve and follow you, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The presentation of gifts is found in Spirit and Song at number 285, number 285, Jesus, Heal Me. my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to, everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, and as we look forward in his ascension into heaven and his wondrous resurrection, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Bridget, Teresa de Avila, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo Garcia Siller, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Father, listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you, ha whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Father, today we pray for Joe Peña, who is sick, and Paula Bart who is sick, and Reina James, who is sick. And to our departed sisters and brothers, Father, we pray for all our deceased relatives and friends. And Anna, Pam, Tai Ann, and Margaret Sauer, and Pam Bradley and Joko Pecky. And to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor, is yours forever and ever. Let us pray the Our Father at our Savior's command and formed by His divine teaching. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with his spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take 
Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Amen. Gather hymnals at number 593, number 593. We remember.
Thank you, Father Gilberto, for allowing me to invite everyone here to our new Bible study, which is Psalms, the School of Prayer. At the heart of the Bible are the Psalms, prayers from God that help us to learn to pray. The Holy Spirit inspired them, Israel sang them, Christ himself prayed them, and as did our Blessed Mother. The sacred hymns become our heartfelt response to God's loving and wondrous deeds for us. Their words captivate the imagination and draw us unto, into a deeply personal encounter with God. Join Jeff, Jeff Cavins, Tim Gray, several, and Sarah Meyer as they show you how to establish a deeply personal dialogue with God through the Psalms. In the Psalms, the School of Prayer, you will discover a rich school of prayer for all of life's circumstances. Experience the transforming power of the responsorial Psalms in the Mass. Learn how to meditate fruitfully on the Psalms using Lectio Divina. Study the many ways the Psalms foretells the life and the mission of Jesus. See how the Psalms can empower you and your prayer life to become an honest and personal dialogue with God. We meet on Monday morning at 10 a.m. in rooms 201 and 202 in the McKenna building. Everyone is welcome. This isn't exclusive to men or women, but all are welcome. Thank you so much. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast of the presentation of the Lord. 40 days after the birth of Jesus, Mary and Joseph presented baby Jesus at the temple. And so today, it is a tradition in Latin America that babies are presented at the, at the temple too. And uh, today we have here Emily Margarita Perez. Yeah, from El Salvador. Come here, please. Usually we have this uh, at the 8 a.m. mass, but thank you for coming at this mass too. Emily Margarita, may the Lord bless you, protect you all the days of your life. May the light of Jesus, the light of the Holy Spirit be in your path. May his angels and archangels surround you with power, with grace, with truth and kindness. May God bless you with a life of love and wisdom. And may the Lord smile at you when you are presented at his temple. We bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And uh, just uh, one minute or less. Uh, you will see at the exits this picture of a new tabernacle. Uh, I, I had mass in St. Mary's downtown today, and I saw the same tabernacle there. It, it was beautiful, beautiful. And so, uh, and the price, $73,000. But I raised already 42000 yeah? And uh, I'm expecting another donation of 10000 and other smaller donations, so we can afford it. Hopefully in two weeks, yeah? Thank you for your donations because you asked, you asked for a new tabernacle. Yes, my plan was to have something different, but you asked for a new tabernacle. It is your donation and we are, it seems it will be here very, very soon. Thank you for your donations and God bless you. Let us pray. O 
O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant that we pray so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our recessional is Holy God, we praise thy name, found in Gather at number 524. <laughs> 